everyone and welcome back to another vlogmas. I have realised that vlogmas is supposed to be about 12 days but I haven't filmed 12 days worth of vlogmas so I'm hoping this will be kind of like a five part series, maybe a six part series just depending on how much I get to film. Today I am back in York, I am back at my sister's house. I'm not technically home home, I'm at my sister's house just for the weekend and because I've done so much work this last two weeks I decided to kind of yeah have a day where I'm just relaxing and enjoying and taking a bit of a break so I'm going into York into the centre of York I'm going to do a whole load of filming and I'm going to a Van Gogh exhibition so I'm excited to film that and also my sister is back she's away this this weekend at the lakes so she's coming back tonight my other sister is currently downstairs um, so yeah it's nice to kind of be back and just in a new environment that isn't Cambridge although I do really enjoy Cambridge as well so I guess I'm going to head off into York now it's a bit of a walk but I will film all of the scenes um, and show you the exhibition as well and yeah just have a nice relaxed day doing something other than maths. Hello everyone and welcome to vlogmas episode 4. I thought I would do a voiceover as I have been doing in my previous videos because people seem to enjoy when I just talk instead of put music over clips so I thought I would continue with that and do a voiceover. So here I am walking in town with Louise who you may have seen in some of my other videos and we were going to the exhibition that I just mentioned and I thought I would just do a bit of a voiceover, talk to you a little bit about York and just a few other things really. So I have lived on the outskirts of York my entire life and it's a very beautiful city. I noticed when I got to Cambridge that Cambridge as a city or as a town really reminds me of York just with the architecture, the beautiful buildings and everything and because I grew up in York, you almost take it for granted when you grow up in a certain town or certain area. You can take the architecture or just the buildings for granted. And that's something that I definitely did when I used to just go into York. And then having been back at Cambridge and been like, wow, look at all, you know, look at Cambridge as a city. It's beautiful. Then when I came back to York, it made me appreciate it even more so because York is just so stunning. And yeah, I absolutely love being able to just walk into town and and go to all the cute little shops. It reminds me very much of Cambridge, like all the quirky little streets, all the quirky little shops, and then just, yeah, the the buildings as well. It's it's a nice resemblance. I think that's why I, I settled in so well at Cambridge, because it reminded me so much of home. So Christmas is very much upon us. I filmed this, I think it was on the 19th of December, so very close to Christmas, and the Christmas decorations are up. I mean, they've been up for about a month anyway, because York get quite excited about Christmas as do most cities and put up Christmas lights so we walked through town and went to the exhibition which was the Van Gogh exhibition I think I'm saying his name incorrectly so please excuse me on that the exhibition honestly blew me away I learned so much about him that I never knew before and it was just so beautifully put together it was basically an exhibition that was brought to life so his paintings and everything were projections. So I'm going to let you listen to what I was able to experience on the exhibition. Success is sometimes the result of a whole series of things. So as you can see, it was very much brought to life. There were projections on the floor as well as on the walls of the, the building we were in and the music and everything. It really brought everything to life and you got to see all of his paintings. It was, yeah, it was about a 35 minute projection exhibition type thing. And yeah, there were quotes kind of interspersed throughout it, which were really motivational, even as if you weren't an artist or you didn't you know, really appreciate art too much, the, the quotes were really motivational yeah it was a really lovely exhibition and i think they're touring around the uk so i definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested so you could also make a drawing of van gogh as well but yeah it, as i said it was incredible so once we'd been to the exhibition we then decided to head just throughout town there were lots of uh, people playing music christmas music which was lovely so we wandered 
through York, listen to lots of different people playing lots of different music. And yeah, it was it was beautiful. It's just so nice to be back home. So something that's new this year is that my sister actually has a house in York now. So it was nice to be able to spend the weekend with her. And yeah, it was it was nice. It's nice to be back with family, I would say. I've, you know, I miss my friends at Cambridge, but it's also just so lovely to be back with family, especially during the times that we're in at the moment. So we went to Plush Cafe, which is a cafe in York, um, very close to the Minster. And it was so cool. They have three rooms. They have a neon room. They have a garden room and another room, which I've forgotten what it is. We were in the garden room. As you can see here, you could sit on swings, which were really, really, really cool. I didn't sit on the swing because I didn't trust myself with sitting on the swing. I was too scared of falling off. Um, and this was Louise tasting the lavender, accidentally swallowing whole lavender from her lavender latte. She promises it was really nice. It was just the little bits of lavender that she kept swallowing. So she decided to get a spoon and scoop all of her lavender out and place it on my napkin, which was great. And this is her modelling the swing and saying that she's probably going to fall off. This was our food. It was so delicious. Honestly, amazing. I had a hot chocolate and pancakes. If you're ever in York, then definitely visit this cafe. It's, yeah, it's really nice. So then we headed back, back home on a very miserable day town was so busy and it's because the markets were on this weekend and it was like the last friday before christmas everything was just so so hectic so yeah we kind of just wanted to get out um we we're a bit cautious of covid obviously before christmas this was the minster so this is something that if you ever visit york and you're you know you haven't been to york before you have to go see the minster it is honestly spectacular you can't miss it <laughs> you literally cannot miss it I think personally that York is quite a small place. Some people think it's quite big, but wherever you are, you can pretty much see the Minster when you kind of walk through streets and things. And it's just so stunning. It's one of those features, kind of like King's Chapel at Cambridge. It's one of those features that it just has the, oh my gosh, wow. And yeah, so if you ever go to York, then definitely visit the Minster. It's beautiful. And they were ringing the bells as we were walking down. So as I said, Christmas lights everywhere in York. We then got home. Here is Bibby one of our close friends, Katie, my twin sister, and then Louise, who you saw earlier. Okay, well, is this working? It's blurry. There we go. Um, I am doing some filming. I am currently sat in a bathroom, but the lighting is um, a lot better in here. And I'm doing some, let's get it going. I'm doing some filming for the UK Space Agency again. Um, so I'm doing some filming for the UK Space Agency, and that's for the Royal Society of Chemistry's TikTok account. So this is what you can see here is me. Um, filming, I've got a script ready on my iPad here, um, and yes, the lighting, the best lighting in the house is the bathroom, so yeah, we're going with that. Um, so I guess I might do a bit of a time lapse of me preparing and filming for this TikTok, and yeah, have a bit of fun with it. And something that I find so funny about this video is that I didn't have any of my filming equipment with me, because obviously I was at my sister's, and some of my filming equipment is either at my home home, or in Cambridge. So Louise just had to hold a light the whole time <laughs> to help me film it. But the TikTok is now live, so go watch it on the Royal Society of Chemistry's TikTok account. And then we had a Chinese to finish off our night, which was honestly delicious. And we watched some Gogglebox. And that was the end of my day, so thank you for watching Vlogmas number four. Vlogmas number five will be me doing more work, back to the work and back to revising. So I will see you all in that video, and thank you again for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one.